My name is Roosevelt Friars. I was in prison about two years ago, three, three. I got those fines from um, not being able to come to court if I'm sitting in prison. Each time my name was called in court, I couldn't have never appeared. So they gave me a failure to appear. So once you get a failure to appear, you have to see the judge. So now they're calling me, they're calling me for all of these ticks and fines and I'm incarcerated and prison is not them. They can see it in the computer, but they're not finna take their van and drive you to these court gates. Miles that take uh, at least a day to get there. You know, if I'm way in uh, Dixie County, in prison in Dixon County, and they got to drive me all the way to West Palm Beach, Florida. They ain't taking me nowhere. They're going to leave me in that prison. Yes. And if they, they, if it's that serious, they'll send somebody to come get you. I could do nothing. There's no help for me when it comes to that situation. And I also think it's bad for a person because if he don't have the money that he needs even if he has the thought to do right. You know, the thoughts that could be placed in his mind and his old way of thinking, you know, could take the best of him and he'll be right back incarcerated. Like, it was no one I could turn to to tell them about this particular situation. I was only told that, hey, I just need to get a lawyer and I got to spend money. I was charged with all of these fees and fines and made the court costs go over four or $5,000 because I'm not, I'm failure to appear for these court dates. So I'm being charged each time I'm not there, I'm being charged, 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 charged. So, me trying to obtain my license to get to work or to get to A to B is almost impossible. Well, my license have, my license got suspended maybe before. It's possible it happened before, but I also still had court dates that I had to show up. So once I got incarcerated, it all got sent to collections. It's like I've been, it's like they're giving me the runaround and telling me that I have to see a judge and then I go somewhere and I, you know, I try to call Palm Beach County to ask them about, you know, what, what do I, how much money do I need to obtain my driver's license? They're gonna add all of the court costs I ever had in the courthouse with my tickets and everything together and they're gonna tell me this how much you owe. It's over like four or five thousand dollars right now. And I, uh, it'll take a while. I would I would have to I would have to sit down and go over my budget in order to see how much would I be able to pay. I would pay weekly, you know, as I get paid and I divide it from there. I would feel better. I just would like to know that they would give me a hardship license to be able to get back and forth to work. You know, at least that would be a step to helping me to do better. But if the door is shut for me to obtain a, 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 a license like I'm talking about now, then it's it's hard, man. You know, it's I'm I'm not everybody. I can only speak from from me. No, I've never been offered a payment plan. Even when I went to the DMV, they never said anything about a payment plan. I would pay. As I work, I go to work every day. I would pay every time I get paid. So whether I have to cut back on how much food I buy or how much food I eat, 
you know, if I have to break the budget down like that, I have to. But I got to make room to pay this license off because this has been a burden on my back for a long time. If I've been out three years riding a bicycle and can't get my license back, it's, it's rough. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome because then I'll be able to go places, do, you know, you know, new atmospheres, meet new people, go out of state. You know, I would like to have my license back, man, so I could just, you know, carry on and live my life the right way, man. You know, I want to not be just here in Florida forever. You know, I have a life. I got God behind me and I believe that he'll, he'll make this happen and I know he brought this here and if anybody that's out there that can hear me I just want them to understand that I might not be the smartest person but if people put their minds together they can see that people that are incarcerated that comes out of jail and prisons they don't have the help that they need so the majority of them go back to a criminal lifestyle that's why the jails stay full I got a bank account I got 401k now I got insurance I had a real job so I can't sit here and say okay God ain't did nothing for me no I cannot say that he brought me a very long way to where I'm at right now and I'm gonna stay here 